Indo-Asia Pacific strategic yeah, You know what, I'll say it and then you nod. Our trade routes. Yeah. And who is our number one trading partner? Shall we use an odd system? Sure. China? Yeah. So under this scenario, we're spending close to $30 billion a year to protect our trade with China from China. And that doesn't strike anyone at this table as odd? Their military capability would be severely hit by the American forces that sit in South Korea, Japan, Guam, Alaska and Diego Garcia. Now, the question is, what does this all mean for Australia? Uh, you're in a quandary for sure. Everybody knows, everybody knows what the quandary is. Security-wise, you really want to go with us. It makes just a lot more sense, right? Uh, and you understand that security is more important than prosperity, because if you don't survive, you're not going to prosper. Survival is of the utmost importance because you can't pursue any other goals if you don't survive, right? So security has got to be number one. So you'll sacrifice prosperity for security. So you'll sacrifice prosperity for security, right? That's what will happen. That's why you'll be with us. Now, some people say there's an alternative. You can go with China, right? You have a choice here. You can go with China rather than the United States. There's two things I'll say about that. Number one, if you go with China, you want to understand you are our enemy. You are then deciding to become an enemy of the United States. Because we're, again, we're talking about an intense security competition. You're either with us or against us. And if you're trading extensively with China and you're friendly with China, you're undermining the United States in this security competition. You're feeding the beast from our perspective. And that is not going to make us happy. And when we are not happy, you do not want to underestimate how nasty we can be. Right? Just ask Fidel Castro. 